What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. I appreciate you guys joining me again on High PSI TV. I know I say this at the beginning of a lot of videos and it doesn't always happen, but here's a short video just to give you an update of what is going on with the Packard. Now, I took some time to rebuild the carburetor for this. That's what the last video was on. And honestly, I struggled with it a little bit. And uh, it got to the point that I didn't want to bring the GoPro out here and try to film a video while I was doing it because I've never rebuilt anything like this before. So this is the rebuilt carburetor, all except for the choke and the throttle linkages. And you can see I've got parts of the old one here as well. And uh, what happened was I had to steal parts off of the other car to rebuild this carburetor because the throttle linkage on this one, only the primaries would work and the secondaries were stuck and I couldn't even get the uh, shaft out to uh, to try to lube them up and make them work. So this is kind of put together with parts from both carburetors, um, but we're getting there. So what we have right now is the main body of the carburetor and what they call the uh, choke horn, basically the top part of the carburetor. And what we have here is the other throttle body or throttle blade assembly off of a different car. So I've already soaked this in this nasty ass solution and it didn't come clean. So I'm going to put it back in there for a little bit like a so, and I'm going to hang out and talk with you guys for a few minutes about the plans with the Packard. So if you guys are frequent to the channel, you know that I bought this Packard about two years ago and little sentimental connection with Packard because my great grandfather worked there. And I've also seen almost this exact model bagged on 20s before. And I really, really like the way that they look. And I've always wanted to bag something. I've never, ever had the opportunity, mainly because I like cars that go fast. But this car is going to be slow, which I'm totally okay with. I want a car that I can drive around and put my buddies in and we can cruise in. I've been thinking a lot lately about building a race car and I've had the opportunity to buy a few rollers. Um, I had a Camaro that was offered to me in trade for another car that I have, but I haven't pulled the trigger on it. And the main reason for that is I am lucky enough to be able to drive the RPM shop car. We've done one of our 865 packages too, and then we upgraded to a Pro Charger and we are going really fast with that car. If you haven't seen the videos of it, be sure you go over to the RPM Motorsports page. I'll put a link right here. And check out that car. We call it the Frostbite ZL1. Um, the best pass we've had in that car in the quarter was a 914, and that happened with the stock blower. We haven't had a chance to run it in the quarter yet with the Pro Charger, but that should be happening this weekend. So be sure that you guys stay tuned on the RPM Motorsports channel and check that out. So that car is just so ridiculously fast for what it is. I mean, it's stock from the bell housing back. So stock converter, stock transmission, stock drive shaft, stock diff, stock axles, stock brakes. And it's a lot of fun. Um, like I said, extremely lucky to be able to drive that. So that's kind of the reason that I haven't built a race car because I'm able to drive other people's fast cars. And another thing about a race car that I don't like is you have to take it to the track. I know a lot of guys take their street cars to the track, but if I'm going to build a race car, that's what it's going to be. We're going to have so much cage and safety equipment and it's not going to have a lot of water in it. You know, it's going to be rowdy. I want to do something cool. So after the Packard is done and I get rid of the other two, that might be something that you're going to see on the channel. So comment below what you guys think. Street car, race car, what's your preference? I'd like to know. So back with the Packard stuff, the carburetor is almost done. And I had a little bit of trouble with it, um, mainly because the rebuild kit that I got comes with some parts that were not in the old carburetors and mainly it's the needle and seat and the floats. So I can show you guys. This is one of the original needle and seat assemblies. It's just like you would find in a lot of carburetors. So that little pinnel sits down in that hole and it stops fuel from filling up the float bowl. These came with a Daytona style needle and seat, which is basically a rubber disc and a spring, which I've never seen before. And the instructions to set it up are absolutely horrible. Again, 65-year-old carburetor. Can't really do a lot with it. Um, luckily, I have my book and the instructions that came with it to kind of help me through it. So I'm going to finish building this carburetor tonight. I'm not going to do a video on me putting the choke and stuff on it just because it's kind of boring. And who really wants to see that? But 
this is the uh, the first step in getting this dude running, and I hope that I'm gonna have some time off that I can rebuild the fuel pump this weekend. And then what I'm gonna do, and what I'm gonna show you guys, is I am going to run as few wires as possible to get this thing running. So I'll put the ignition on a toggle switch, I'll put the starter on a button, hopefully I can get some fuel to it and some spark to it, and we can hear this thing run after I change the oil, of course, that's another big thing that I kinda have to do. But yeah, just wanted to give you guys an update. I know you haven't seen me a lot recently. Um, everything is going well. Packard is coming together. I'm pretty happy about that. Uh, once I do get it running, I want to do some mechanical stuff, like get the brakes working. But I am going to have to do some sheet metal work as well in order to get this thing kind of roadworthy. Uh, the driver's side floorboards rotted out, so is the rocker panel. So that's going to be on the list of things to do. So... I'm going to start messing with this, and I thank you guys for tuning in. Don't forget, there is always a link in the description below for merchandise, which includes t-shirts and hats. I do have hoodies. Uh, they are not on the website yet. I bought four. Um, I've always heard people ask me about hoodies, so I bought a few just to see if I can even get rid of them. I bought two for myself. I bought four to sell. If they sell quick, I'll buy some more. I know it's the season. You can see I'm wearing a hoodie right now. Not a high PSI hoodie, which I should be wearing. This channel, going to continue with the stuff that we're doing now. Old cars, I got the Tahoe, of course you guys know that. And I have the Buick, which is kind of in hibernation. But stay tuned. Uh, we're going to start doing more videos on tech stuff and the cars that I already have finished right now. So racing season is slowing down, which means I'll have more time to give to you guys and to the channel. And almost 17,000 subscribers, which, you know, I can't thank you guys enough for watching. And I really do appreciate it. And without you guys watching... There's no need for me to do this kind of stuff. So keep watching, comment, like, subscribe, stay tuned to the channel. Big things are coming. Thank you for watching.